Hi guys, welcome to Websense Pro. I'm your host Bilal Rasir again with the new Shopify how to video and in this video I'm going to watch you through how you can add stylish color swatches which will look awesome in your Shopify product page. So this tutorial will also work in all of the latest theme. For example, if you're implementing it on Sense 9.0, on uh, Color Block 9.0. So all of this tutorial is implemented on all of the 9.00 update, which has been recently released in Shopify. So if you want to learn, stick to the video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel because it's free. Why you guys are not subscribing, right? So without further ado, let's get into the screen. So guys, that's how the color swatches will look like after you follow this tutorial. Originally, that's how they look. So there are no colors showing up, but after implementing this tutorial, you'll have stylish color swatches looking like this. Okay, now first step is go to back end of your Shopify store, where we will add a custom meta field. I'm assuming you're already logged in. So as you can see, I have added a fresh Dawn 9.0.0 theme 10 minutes ago. And this tutorial is will also work on all of the free themes. So if you want to implement this on refresh, craft, sense, write, it will work on all of the free themes. It's not going to work on any paid theme because they have completely different structure of the liquid code. Okay, now first step is to create meta field. Now, in order to create one, click on settings and then scroll down to custom data, click on that. And from there, click on variants. Now we will add a new definition by clicking on add definition button. Here, I'll name it color. And on namespace and key, replace it with color dot values. Make sure don't do any spelling mistake here because that's the base of our code, which I'm going to provide you shortly. Okay, now click on select type, and then scroll down to color. Click on that, then click save. Okay, we have successfully created our variant meta field. Now we'll implement some code. Let's go back to our online store editor. And in Dawn theme, I'm going to edit the code. Click on these three small dots where you'll have an option to edit code. Before editing the code, if you have a lot of customization already done in your theme, make sure to duplicate your theme because I was getting blamed by some of the comments uh, in, in my YouTube videos that your code destroyed a website. So I already, so I always recommend you guys to have the duplicate because in case you mess up anything, you can easily then revert it back, right? Okay, now click on edit code. And from there, we will go to base.css file and we'll be adding some CSS code. So scroll down to the bottom. So before implementing any code, let me show you guys the preview of the store. So that's how the store currently looks like. If I go to the product, this one where we have color, you can see that that's how it's, it's currently in its default state, right? Now add in the CSS code. So I, all, I have all of the codes ready here. You don't need to worry about the codes. I'm going to provide all of the codes in YouTube video description where you will find a blog post link with the detailed instructions on how to add the codes and where to add the codes, okay? Now after adding the CSS code, hit save button here. So we did two step. First step, we created meta field. And in second step, we added the CSS code. Now our third step is to replace this code with this code. So I'm going to go to this file, product-variant-options.liquid. So search for this file. Here's the file, click on that. And here, I'm going to search this code. So previously in all of the videos, I was giving you the line numbers, but from now on all of the tutorials which I'll make, it will have the code which you will be replacing. So if a few minor updates came into Shopify Dawn theme, you won't be confused with the line numbers. Okay, 
Now let's search for this code. So let me copy this piece of the code and search where my code is. Copy this and then search it in my product dash variant dash options dot liquid file. Okay, search the code. Not this one, as you can see, it's not like this code. So search for, so here it is. So that's the code which we will be replacing. It's currently for me on line number 62, but it could be somewhere else on your theme, right? So make sure to match this code complete label code and then replace this whole label with the code I'm going to provide you guys. So copy this code and then replace this label and then hit save. Now all of the code changes are completed, but if I go to my theme and hit refresh, you won't see any difference. Reason is that we haven't yet defined our color values on this product. So let's go to that product and add in the color values in the meta field which we created. So go to products and then click on this same product here, new t-shirt. So guys, on your product page, scroll down where you have your variants showing up. Now you can see that there's an edit button to edit the variants. Click on that button. There you will define the value of color in the meta field which we created. Okay, so we are in black product. I'm going to click on this and select black color. Then hit save. Similarly, I'll do for these remaining two colors. So click on white, scroll down, select the white color and hit save. Do the same for the red color. And uh, okay, now let's go back to our store and to the product page where we added the color swatches and hit refresh. And now you can see our color swatches are showing up, which looks pretty stylish, right? So that's it for the tutorial, guys. If you want to see more tutorials like this, drop me a comment on the video and uh, let me know what more you would like to learn. Until next video, have a great day.